In the last movie, you created bone chains for the legs, and you link both the legs and the spine to the pelvis. In this movie, you take a minute to understand why it is important to link bone chains together before you get to do any rigging on the skeleton. You may want to save your file at this point as you will need to revert back to it later. As always, you can also use the files you downloaded for this tutorial. To demonstrate the potential problem, start by hiding the mesh layer so you can concentrate on the skeleton. Select both thighs and unlink them from the pelvis. As you move the pelvis, the legs now stay in place. Select the character's left thigh. You need to create an IK solver between the thigh and the foot. Creating solvers is part of the character rigging and will be discussed in greater detail in later movies. For now, it will be simply used to demonstrate a potential problem that occurs if bone chains are not linked together. With the left thigh selected, choose Animation, IK Solvers, HI Solver, and then click on the left foot. An IK goal appears, and you can now use it to manipulate the leg. Now select the thigh again, and link it to the pelvis one more time. Notice the problem. The leg flips to a 90 degree angle. This can be remedied by selecting the IK goal, and in the motion panel, you can adjust the swivel angle value. But now, the swivel angle value's initial pose is set to 90 instead of the original 0 degree. This could potentially cause some problems with your rig later. To prevent any of this from happening, and to minimize effort, it's best to make sure that your hierarchy is in place BEFORE you get to the rigging part. Try it with the character's right leg. Select the right thigh and link it to the pelvis again. Notice that you did this BEFORE creating the IK solver. Now create an IK solver between the thigh and the foot as you did earlier. This time, there were no quirky snaps or 90 degree flips. The leg stays oriented properly, and the swivel angle remains at a zero-degree value. The bottom line is, make it a habit to have the hierarchy in place and bone chains linked properly together before you start rigging the skeleton. Reopen the file you saved earlier to continue with the building of the skeleton. Next up, you create the arms.